not entered in 100. She's been battling some injuries this year. She definitely has indoors. They expected a big season from her indoors. She was injured, didn't run until the pin relays, which she ran a 400 meters and, and looked very good. Very good race for her. And now she's back here trying to get back together in these hurdles. I tell you, this win is not good for Gail Devers. When you're as fast as she is, those hurdles come up so fast. And that's where Gail has a problem. She always has a problem because she's so fast. But now with that wind pushing her, let's hope that she can get over those barriers without a spill. Let's talk about the wind with a hurdler. Would you rather have the wind in your face or at your back? Well, I think it depends on the size but see gail devers is the smallest world-class hurdler in the world at five feet three but then on the other hand she has so much speed so she's going to get close to the hurdles anyway for someone like me when i ran here back in 81 i loved the one in my face i could run as hard as i could and i would never come up on the hurdles but for gail it's going to push her into the hurdles and she's really got to watch it because when you're too close to the hurdles you have to back off you're going to go very high over the hurdles and the more you're on the ground the better now, on her right, you see there wearing number 78, that's Don Bowl. Now, she won her semifinal on a win date at 12.89. So we'll watch now. Devers is in lane four. She's been getting terrific starts up till now. Let's see if she blazes it out again. Ball start over in lane two. That's Marsha Gialdo, the NCAA Division II champion while at Cal State Los Angeles. And so now they will just go back and, and regroup. Well, I know another athlete in this race who is very good is Linda Talbert Good. She was a 95 national indoor champion, upsetting Jackie Joyner Cursor in that race. Jackie Joyner Cursor, excuse me, in that race. Bronze medalist at the 93 World Championships back in Stuttgart. And we were there. Gail Devers put on quite a show at Stuttgart, and she hopes to do the same at Gothenburg when we get to the Worlds in Sweden. It will start on ABC on the weekend of August 5th and 6th. So now it's Devers, lane four, women's 100-meter hurdle final. Not a particularly good start for Gail. Over that second hurdle, though, she is starting to come now, and she has seized command. Gail Devers, barring disaster, is going to run her way to Sweden rather easily. 12.77, Marcia Gialdo came on and finished second, and we'll see about third. May have been Don Bowles, may not have. We'll get the official, but look how happy Marcia is about qualifying for that team. She is ecstatic. It was a tough final. You would have expected Linda Talbert good to be there, but she wasn't. Marcia Gialdo stepping up exactly the right time making the team i'll tell you gail devers did not get a good start but maybe somebody was listening to me on television and the win is something that'll be a factor maybe she was kind of backing down because she knew that if she got too close to those hurdles she has taken that spill in fact over that last hurdle and she wanted to make positively sure all she did was make it here make it to sweden and she can take care of business when she gets there there she is, the powerful Gail Devers. And now we're going to go back over to the long jump because Mike Powell will be coming up. The world record holder is getting ready here, Dwight. Currently the leader at 28 feet, three quarters of an inch. Now he seemed to be a little bit off balance off of the board, even though he got the board on that jump. Still, his first jump has been his best, the only one over 28 feet. Just think about him as a small forward, ladies and gentlemen. Think about him coming off the wing and slam dunking, or think about Gail Devers in any kind of a sprint race. She's one of the most powerful men in the world. And then there's Marcia Gialdo. She didn't expect to be headed to Sweden, but what a nice story that is. Second in the national championship. We'll continue. Well, in the women's 100-meter hurdles, form did not hold except at the top. As expected, Deaver's the winner. But Marcia Gialdo with a personal best 12.98 captures second and a spot on the national team headed to Sweden. And Doris Williams is the third-place finisher. She's a two-time.